Let's talk about open source, learning in public, and content creation made easy. I know what you're thinking, Eddie, they're all different. Well, actually, I believe they're all kind of very similar. They will help you learn, grow, and accelerate your career. In this video, I wanna explain why you should do all of the above, but it doesn't have to be hard. I want to show you how you can do it without that much work. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. Plus hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a video and go live. Yes, I go live. I live stream twice a week so we can geek out a lot more. Now that that's out the way, let's get back to the video. Let's start off with why. Well, open source, you work on real world projects. You learn faster, you improve your technical skills and your communication skills. And these soft skills, which I like to call core skills, are becoming more and more important. I've got my GitHub profile behind me. You can see that this is a social coding platform. However, it's not just about code anymore. And that's the important thing to take away. We've got everything happening. Even this Hacktoberfest, we have non-code contributions counting towards Hacktoberfest. So that's super important. GitHub and open source are really going places and you can go there too. In addition to growing your network, more and more recruiters, hiring managers are looking at people's GitHub profile. Let's move on to learning in public. This is really important because people want to follow your journey. When you watch a movie, you don't just see the ending. You want to see the whole story. How did that person get there? And that's what people want to do. They want to follow you. They want to follow a person and they want you to be authentic. Content creation. That can sound really scary. Open source and learning in public will help you tell a story and help you stand out, be your authentic self. But to stand out even further, you can do content creation. This could be just tweets, this could be blog posts, this could be videos, live streams, and there's so much more. There's so many options nowadays. So when I say content creation, it's anything you put out there in the public domain. Kind of sounds like open source as well, right? Which also counts as learning in public, right? You see where I'm going with this? I mean, this is my GitHub profile I mentioned to you a minute ago. This is my Twitter profile. It kind of looks quite similar as well. Profile picture, bio, content instead of open source. Well, both of them are open source. And you've also got my YouTube. The platforms are, are different, but the principles are very much the same. Now that we're on the same page to the what and the why, I know you're still thinking, Eddie, that's a lot of work. Eddie, you have a team behind you. Yes and no. Yes, I do have a team behind me, but I didn't always. And plus you don't need one and don't compare yourself to me. I don't like to compare myself to other content creators like Free Code Camp, Brad, Kyle, you know all those big content creators. I know you're waiting for the how, and this is where it gets super interesting. In tech, we're learning every day. So when you're playing with new tech, why not push it, your side project, your example demo project, whatever you're doing, your hello world, to GitHub publicly. There you're planting a seed where other people can discover the technology you're using, what projects you're working on, and can also come and collaborate with you and might invite you to collaborate on their project too. And no doubt you'll learn something, why not? make a tweet about it. When you've created a few features on your project, why not write a blog post, create a video? Why not both? Don't read your blog post out in the video, but it could be a base for your video or vice versa if you prefer. If you create a video or a live stream, that could be the base of your blog post. And then from that longer form content, you could create five, 10 tweets from it. I don't mean advertise your blog post or video on Twitter only, no one likes salesy and spammy stuff. But what I mean is you could extract tips from your longer form content and use it on shorter form and vice versa. And then when you get replies on your YouTube videos, your blog posts, probably your tweets, that will give you ideas to create more content. When someone creates an issue for an idea or a bug on your open source project, that gives you more content ideas too. I only put out a small fraction of my content ideas. Honestly, I don't want to spam you on lots of platforms. But you can see from open source, learning in public and content creation, not only accelerate your career, but it also creates more content for you. Let's conclude, because I know you really want to go and get started straight away. Do something, do anything. By doing something, you're going to learn what works and what doesn't work for you, what you enjoy more, and it will create more content. It will lead to so many more opportunities. But I recommend starting with learning in public on open source, which will lead to short form content, which then will lead to longer form content, and then that will accelerate your career and that will lead back to shorter form content. You can see this kind of positive cycle here. So once you get started, it is going to really accelerate from there. And I'm going to be checking up on you. So I look forward to seeing you in the Eddie Hub Discord. Link in description below. See you there.